So I'm going to be creating a ninja star for this. I'm going to follow the directions in the book and I will need two pieces of origami paper. It's easier if they are two different colors. Okay, so we're first going to focus on one paper and do the first step. So you first need to flip the paper, fold the paper in half. So I'm just going to take the bottom and bring it to the top so it creates a rectangle. We have to be perfect with this, otherwise it will not turn out well. So fold it in half. Then I'm gonna open it back up. And now the bottom of my paper, it's gonna be folded in half, meeting the middle line. So I'm gonna line it up to that middle line perfectly. And press down. Then this other side, it's gonna be folded in half to that middle line again. And press down. Now we will just take this piece and fold it in half. So now we got one nice little strip. Now we're gonna do the same on the other piece of paper. So we're gonna fold it in half. Then we are gonna open it back up, take the bottom, fold it to that middle line. Then we'll take the other side, fold it to that middle line. And then fold in half. All right, so now I got two strips of paper they will need to be folded differently to um, work. So I'm gonna fold the pink one one way, then the blue one will be a little bit different. So for the pink one, I am gonna take the corner, so it's on the right side, this corner right here, and I'm gonna be folding it to create a nice point. So this side of, of my paper at the top, it's gonna line up perfectly with the edge of the paper to create a nice point, creating like a triangle. Then on the bottom, so now we have the left corner, I'm gonna be taking this left corner and folding it perfectly to make another point. Then with this pink, we're gonna try and make like large triangles is what I always say to help. So when we fold it, we have to think about, is it making a triangle? So I'm gonna take this top and I'm gonna flip it to um, the left. So I have my top of it, I'm gonna just flip it. And now this side is gonna line up at the top and it has to make like a big triangle. So as you can see on like the other side, we have this huge triangle. If I were to flip it the other way, we don't have a triangle, okay? So that's not the right way. So I have to make sure I flip it so it makes a triangle. Okay, now with this bottom piece, we are gonna also be flipping it to make a triangle. So if I went this way, oh, we're not creating a triangle. If I go this way, this kind of looks more like a triangle. So I had to make sure when I am folding and flipping that they are perfectly lined up like this. You see how they're lined up perfectly? If they are kind of crooked or weird, it's gonna be harder to put together. So perfectly have them lined up to make that triangle. All right, now my pink piece, it looks kind of like this S shape. So we got like our two little triangles on one side and it looks like an S on the other side. All right, so I'm done with my pink for now. Now I'm gonna focus on my other piece of paper and it's gonna get folded a little bit differently. So I'm gonna take this corner, now it's my left corner and it's gonna get folded to create a point. Now 
then I'm gonna take the bottom and it's gonna be the right corner. And we're gonna fold this to make a nice little point. Okay, then we have to do the same thing with finding um, which looks like the triangle. So I'm gonna start at the top. So if I flip it this way, ooh, that does not look like a triangle. So I'm gonna try flipping it the other way. Okay, that's looking more like a triangle. So I'm gonna make sure I get that perfectly lined up. So right now, that is not lined up. So I had to make sure it is perfect and then pinch my paper. Okay, then on the bottom, I'm gonna be flipping it to try and make a triangle. So let's see. If I go, this way doesn't work, obviously. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try flipping it like this. Okay. Okay, here I got my two triangles. That's what I'm looking for. So now I'm gonna make sure it's perfectly lined up on this side and perfectly. Okay, now in the directions, um, we had to line these up nicely. So I'm gonna use this little as my guide. So my pink needs to be facing so it looks like that S shape. Then my blue my other piece has to look like it's the triangles. So I got the S shape and then I got the triangles. Okay, so I'm gonna put my S shape down first. That's in the bottom. Then I'm gonna put my triangles on top. All right, then I'm ready to start kind of putting it together. So I'm gonna take this like pink, the bottom one, and it's gonna get folded in half. So I have this line in the that's coming down. That's where it's gonna fold in half. So we're gonna fold it in half perfectly. And then this will get tucked into the blue. So right here, I'm gonna tuck it in. Then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna fold it in half. So it creates that nice point and then this will get tucked in to the other blue. So we got this blue right here. All right, you're gonna have to like hold it down with your fingers, otherwise they're gonna pop out easily. All right, so I got one side all nicely tucked in. Now I'm gonna flip it over and I have to tuck in my blues. I'm gonna flip it over. Okay. Now I'm gonna fold in half this blue piece of paper, flip in half to create that point and then this little point is going to get tucked in so this is where it gets kind of hard to tuck these in okay and press down now this side we're going to fold in half to create that point and then tuck it in this is probably the hardest the last little piece so you're going to try and get in between there and slide it through. All right, then I'm moving my papers around to make sure they're nice and has a point. Not so you create a ninja star. All 